actually my involvement into kickboxing has affected me in almost every aspect of life. It was very interesting. It's interesting in the sense that because I picked it up as a fitness exercise thing, I then learned it as a martial art thing. And then I learned to teach it as both the martial arts as, and the fitness thing. So in that sense, I got to experience all different aspects of kickboxing and martial arts and it opened me up to learn every other form of martial art that I now indulge in. Martial arts is a mindset, it's a real life. Uh, and I experience that the most when I'm sparring. And here at TNT, I'm very blessed because a lot of the local fighters come and train regularly, especially during the formative years. So I would be sparring against people who took fighting as a lifestyle and sport. And these guys are guys who get opportunities to fight on international levels, although we never hear or read about them. So my strategy going into my first ever MMA amateur tournament was to not die. I literally focused on uh, techniques that I could pick up uh, quickly, watching YouTube videos and, and practicing by myself uh, how to escape when someone tries to get me on the ground because I know my background in kickboxing gave me the advantage to punch and kick. So my hope was to stay off the ground and knock out the guy before he can take me down. So let's talk about my junk monkey. The extended inner shell feature of the bag makes me feel very comfortable and gives me peace of mind when I'm running around the city knowing that my stuff is safely tucked in. I like the Jack Monkey because it is uh, large and has all the right set of pockets that allows me to keep all my stuff that I need on a daily basis. And I have a special preference for single strap bags for its horizontal plane nature that allows me to see everything that I put in the bag at a single glance. The strap system is very unique. It's something that I've not encountered before purely because it's got that wide cushion that makes it very comfortable and the quick release feature makes it very convenient to use when I'm moving about. Uh, from another aspect is it Really, I'm now known as Michael Chen, the guy who does uh, martial arts while he also acts and while he also produces and while he also uh, does all kind of theatre, right? So, martial arts and kickboxing has become so much a part of my identity that it actually scares me if I, had, if I were to get into some form of, you know, touch wood, uh, some kind of an accident and I cannot walk or I lose a finger or I lose an arm. It actually scares me that like, I cannot do this anymore because martial arts is one of those things that you can do well in your 60s and 70s if you know what you're doing. And that's what I fully intend to do. <laughs> you know, if I can't punch and kick anymore, maybe one day I'll learn Tai Chi. <laughs>